good afternoon. Today is quite the kerfuffle. Don't really know what the heck I'm doing today. What I'm right doing right at this moment is I'm gonna go and swath the tiny bit of peas that I left the first go around. Cause when I started swathing peas, I started with this new to me soft propel and I thought, well, I have a self propelled swather now. I can just go around the green stuff. Wow, the swather swaths like shit and bees, so. Then I uh, use the full type on everything else. But I will go and try and cut out those little spots there, and then I can combine them before I start on some barley. Everything's just kind of a log jam because I'm trying to figure out where I'll sell peas and when I can get them moved. And uh, I bought two new bins, so waiting for them to get delivered. Because I'm not quite sure how. I know how I want to do it with green and bin space, but it's not quite happening right now. And so I'm sitting and not combining and I'm starting to get really annoyed because I'm wasting time and it probably needs to come off and any other farmer will understand the, the dilemma. So yeah, fun times. You know, if this swather wasn't the most pathetic thing at trying to cut some bees. I might actually like it. Instead, I might sell it because there is zero advantage to this piece of junk over my full pipe. I am way better off to just leave that for the cows to eat. Man, this water sucks. Cereals, it's fine, yeah. But anything can cut cereals. Bees. Not flow through. Those are I get. The more scared of heights I am. I was about 10 feet up that ladder and it broke. That could have been bad. And I'm okay with these long ladders up to these tall bends when they're tied on at the roof. But when you have to crawl up it and then untie it, move it from one bin over to another, untie the broken ladder, and climb back up untied again to tie it. Oh. I really wish these bins had ladders. Well, the auger set up. The other two bins got peas in them and it doesn't sound like I'll be able to get rid of the peas till the end of the week at minimum. Maybe even next week and the new bins I bought are only coming Thursday. So all I can do is fill that bin with barley and, and then I sit and wait. <sighs> oh well. Let's go combine. At the field now. So we gotta get this thing unfolded and set up for barley. So I might as well show you how. Gotta get the hitch swing over. That requires it's hard to do this one handed. There we go. The jack on this it moves the pin in the hitch. enough. See? Pin is in. We can take our block. Put it in front of the tire. We'll have to lift this up yet. That way we can lower the header afterwards. Then we pull ahead a little bit. That'll be enough. Then we go release the jack. Then we 
and pull the rest of the pull the head the rest of the way until it clicks. Oh, there we go. And then we back up a little bit so we're off our block. And then we're in fuel position. Alright, now that we're running, I already have the cylinder in high range. I did that when I did the beater belts. But we need to adjust our concave. This handle. Down there. So. We're looking for about three. Be at full throttle. Gauge the feeder hose. Wind her up. There we got 900. That's too much. Come on, slow down here. Slow down. Slow down. There, I like the 800 number. Oh, let's see if we're thrashing any barley here now. This has been laying on the ground for like a month, which isn't ideal. Let's see how she goes initially. Oh, 
lights on. I could probably push it harder to go another gear faster, but eh. Slow and steady. There is straw. I might bail some of it. The cows will be grazing this in less than a month. So the plan is to just leave most of it on the ground and cows will pick out what they want. in the nick of time. There is none on the side. Whew, that was close.
while it's dark and I'm waiting for a truck, I'll show you one other cool thing I put on this combine. Because I have to have power run into the back for the header and unloading auger clutches. Just throw power from them. Put in a switch. I got light to see my fan speed to adjust that in the dark. And I put one light underneath here too. So I can see everything is good and I can always change cylinder range if I need to. And I got a light to see my concave adjust. So that's been really nice. Still just crawling along. Not trying to push it. Tomorrow we'll do some more fine tuning of settings, but I think I got it pretty good now. Girls rank in height and straw. Awesome for baling or silaging or grazing. So that's why I grow it. Doesn't pay to grow multiple varieties of barley. Maybe in the future again if I start building more bin space, but for next year I'm really gonna have to do the math and see what's gonna be the most profitable to me. Feed weed. Hard red, trying to get number one wheat. Maybe try her malt barley, or just get a higher yielding wheat barley variety. Not quite sure yet. There he goes with a loaded truck. I can't quite fit two full hoppers onto that three ton. Straw is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't work. I just can't work the late nights like I used to. So I used to be able to go and then bale straw yet till three, four in the morning. But I think I'd rather get up in the morning a little earlier and bale in the daylight now. So we won't be going that much longer. It's a little bit tough already. It's after 10:30 now. Go a little bit more and then rather just quit and get up earlier. Just realized I should probably clarify because I said earlier on that I won't be bailing this straw I'll leave it for cows to eat but uh, I do think well I know I'm going to bail the outside rounds because uh, I cut the field back and forth and so it'll be a whole lot nicer for the truck driving around and uh, turning in the, at the headlands if the straw is bailed because it's just such a big windrow be just nice to get that bailed up and then I can drive and turn around a lot a lot easier. I could probably shift up but yeah. Keep the barley in the combine and not out the back. Nice double from the old cedar though. 